A day after beating Florida Gulf Coast in the first round of the NCAA tournament, the Knolls are back inside the Amway Center preparing for 11th seeded Xavier in the second round of the tournament. There's no question that the victory on Thursday night was a big one for the Knolls. After all, that is the first NCAA tournament win for every player in the locker room. Yet the celebration was short and the Knolls had to get back to business on Friday. We celebrated a little bit last night. We were excited to be able to move on to the round of 32, but now it's, now it's time to get focused and, and uh, prepare for a really good Xavier team and hopefully we can move on. Uh, we're perfectly fine with you know preparing one day one day for those guys because they get one day to prepare for us as well and uh, we're looking forward to the game we feel like we can you know if we compete at the highest level like we have been all year we'll be fine the musketeers are a physical team who rebound very well six in the country in rebounding margin which is why the development of seven foot four center chris kamaje could be critical for the Knolls as they continue in the tournament one of our premises of our program is development and uh, Chris is just another example of that and everything he's done from academics to his body development to his uh, uh, personal life development and now basketball development and uh, he is uh, a guy we've had great confidence in that he's going to turn into a fantastic player for us and uh, he's now taking those steps to be the kind of player that we envisioned when we recruited him. I've been like you know career ministry like you got to be it's not just like being on the court it's like being on the court and doing something up in the team are like impacting the game in some ways, not just like being out there. Kamaje had one of his biggest games as a Seminole, a career high in minutes with 21, logging seven points in four blocks. The game has started to slow down for the sophomore. The biggest transition, like the speed of the game, I think. I got used to the speed of the game. It's awareness, it's called awareness. It's, you know, kind of better a lot. You know, knowing the transition from offense to defense, you know, at a fast pace that college basketball is played, you know, and uh, it's timing on, on, on defense, you know, being able to help our guards out on defensive end has gotten better a lot too, and I'm proud, you know, he's putting in the work. Saturday night in the Amway Center, it's the Knolls versus the Musketeers with a berth in the Sweet 16 on the line. And of course, Seminoles.com will have all of your coverage. Senior writer Tim Linnefelt will have his analysis and we'll have highlights and post-game reaction as Florida State looks to make it to the Sweet 16. That'll wrap up our coverage from the Amway Center for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.